Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com and today we're going to take a look at SpyBot Anti-Beacon, one of the many free Do Not Spy style apps for Windows 10 to block telemetry, data being sent back and forth, and services and other things that may use it. People love these things. So here's the SpyBot one. As you can see, you have the protection. There's not a lot here. I should mention if you're looking at it and yours looks like this, it's because I just squeezed it into fit in my screen a little bit better. So don't be surprised if you're wondering why mine looks different. You have real quickly, just to skim the surface, the additional optional stuff you can put in here, a log file of what you have done and um, frequently asked questions, which aren't really a lot of questions here. So let's start at the beginning. You want to decide what to immunize from is what they call it so you want to show the options because your mouse over does nothing if you do not know what the steps recorder group policy is you're not sure if you should block it or not but your end game is to try and set your computer up with the anti-spy setting so what do you do you hit the show options now in here the trick with this is once again the only thing you get here in the mouse over is exactly what you see. So it tells you to service, tells you to registry key, but it doesn't go into any detail telling you what it is. I got a real problem with that because even as a geek, some of the stuff I'm kind of looking at going, I'm not sure what that does. I probably should, but I don't. So I got most of it down pat, but that's not going to help most of you. Handwriting, data sharing, tablet stuff, sensors. If you don't know what this is, you're in trouble. But the good news is you can immunize pretty much everything on here. It's very, very fast. And if you run into trouble after you reboot, come back and simply undo. You can then go over into the optional. You can actually apply the exact same thing. You can show the details. Once again, you've got some weird interface stuff here. So you got to do these one at a time. So you can't do these all at the same time you've got to pick and choose them but you can still come back and undo them uh, I really think we need to have a description of what this stuff is in here a little bit better so I mean you get one hint this is it two rows you got one hint so honestly uh, I expect a little better from spybot I think that until he addresses some of these things there were some early bugs as well those are pretty well worked out another issue with this program is it doesn't save it if you reboot in other words there's a setting you had to watch for it when you installed it and it tells you to reset everything every time you reboot which obviously would only take seconds but if you didn't pay attention to it why you were installing the program well, I'll be darned if I can find it anywhere so now you're you know you'd have to uninstall it and reinstall it to get that setting back to where you want there's no links to the home page so if I'm looking at here and I want to maybe hit their form and ask a question there's no quick links, nothing at all. Needs some work uh, for right now. At the time I did this video, I might look at something else. I don't think this is your best choice right now, but uh, somewhere around uh, 100,000 people would disagree. So 70,000. So 70,000 people have grabbed it. So SpyBot's got a good reputation. I'm not knocking them. I'm just knocking more the way this program has come together and, and just, just it's, it's lacking. It's just not intuitive and friendly. So um, there you go. Take a look if you want it. I'll uh, even throw the download link in there if you don't trust me and give her a run. Uh, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Click subscribe. Blah, blah, blah. See you next time.